welcome back. Last time we were here, we were digging up some fossils, dinosaur fossils, T-Rex fossils to be specific, and we were digging for a pretty long time and we only managed to get out a rib cage. So I went ahead and dug up the rest of the bones so we could put them together and take a look at our own T-Rex fossil model. So I've been doing a lot of research. One of the facts that I found really interesting was that T-Rex, which stands for Tyrannosaurus Rex, actually means, like it literally translates to Tyrant Lizard King, which sounds kind of scary, but it kind of makes sense when you think about how big this T-Rex was and how it was a carnivore and it would go after its prey. It sounds pretty Tyrant Lizard King to me. So one of the things that made the T-Rex so unique was that it had a mouth full of really sharp teeth. So can you guess how big each tooth is? Do you think that each tooth was the size of an orange, a banana, or a kiwi? So while you're taking some time to think about what the right answer might be, let's go ahead and reconstruct our T-Rex model so that we can get a closer look at how its bones came together. Now we have a general idea of what a T-Rex looks like, right? We've seen it in books and movies, um, all sorts of things. So you kind of know what you're aiming for. Now, can you imagine being a paleontologist and you've never seen what the dinosaur looks like? Like you have no idea. It could look like a bird. It could look like a gorilla. It could look like a fish. Like you have no idea what this animal you've discovered looks like, but you have all of these pieces and you get to put it together and be the one of the first people to learn what that animal looks like. It's pretty exciting. And I think what we can start doing is kind of grouping these pieces together. This looks like it is maybe the side of its head because you kind of can see the teeth. So I'm gonna set this over here for its head. And it looks like this piece looks just like it. Definitely belong together. And let's see, it looks like this could be like its leg and foot. So I'm gonna set it over here. And this was the piece that we found last time, which was the rib cage. So it's kind of the body of the T-Rex. So let's put this over here, because that's in its own category. Here's another one that kind of looks like the other side of this rib cage. And then this looks like it is maybe the bottom or like part of the face somehow, because it has teeth. So we're gonna set it with the head. So these pieces look like they could either be really small legs and feet, or they could be the T-Rex's arms. So I think this is a great start. We've kind of grouped them together by the different parts of the T-Rex body. So we're gonna start from the bottom up because we have the legs right here. So one of these legs has to be attached to the base because this is a model after all. So let's start with the body here. So we know that the tail has to come out of the body somehow. It's gonna look something like this. So let's take a look if there's any clues. Oh, perfect. These fit together. So we have our body. We have the body connected to the tail. And it looks like the body has these two holes on each side, which I think is where the legs go in. Perfect. There we go. We're starting to really see it come together. So now let's work on its head. Two halves of its head and it looks like this might be the jaw. And it all kind of fits together perfectly. And now we have a hinge so we can open the jaw. Rawr. So when you look at this fossil, you can see there are holes within the bones. These holes are where some of the softer tissue or the cartilage of that animal used to live. Now, as the animal decomposes, it breaks down, all of those soft tissues or the muscle, the meat of the animal kind of wastes away over time. And so what's left is just the bones, which is kind of the frame of what the animal looks like. Okay, and then there's a perfect little ball point here where we can connect it. Boom! So now we just have to attach the arm and there's our T-Rex. 
So let's get back to our question from the beginning. How big do you think each T-Rex tooth is? The size of a banana, an orange, or a kiwi? Drum roll, please. The answer is a banana. Yes, each tooth inside a T-Rex mouth is as big as a banana. So can you imagine a mouthful of bananas? Except they're not squishy and soft, they're hard and sharp. Because after all, T-Rex is a carnivore, so it needed those strong, sharp teeth in order to survive. I think this model deserves a very special place on our table because this took a lot of work. We had to dig up the bones, clean them off, organize them, and put them together so we could see what a T-Rex looked like, at least as close as we can. We won't ever be able to see what a T-Rex looks like with our own eyes, but thanks to scientists like paleontologists who dig up these bones, we're able to get a better idea of what they looked like and how they behaved a long, long time ago. Thanks for stopping by, scientists. If you want to learn more science with me, go ahead and hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Rawr. Rawr.